the most mysterious man in history, and he documented everything. What are we looking at today? This is a series of Harry Houdini's scrapbooks. Houdini, near his death, wrote a will which left his entire book collection and all of his scrapbooks to the Library of Congress. And his scrapbooks, as you can see when we look through them, are full of uh, the course of his career. He documents his entire career very carefully. Every publicity photo, every stock certificate that sold at the events, correspondence, flyers, theater posters. We have uh, many, many, many volumes. And he meticulously maintained this on himself throughout his career. That's right. right. One of the problems with Houdini's scrapbooks uh, is that they were done on very cheap dime store uh, scrapbooks. The paper is highly acidic. Uh, and as a result, you can, this, uh, you can see what we've done. We've taken a photograph of every page of the scrapbook before we began to conserve it. And this documents why. As this paper breaks away, it breaks the object that's glued on top of it, whether it's hardier than the scrapbook or not. So photographs break, all sorts of paper breaks away. We were beginning to lose the documentation. So the library photographed every page of Houdini's scrapbook so we could document how he put the book together and how he chose to arrange it. And then we conserved it by taking every single item off of each page. So for example, if we go back to this postcard right here and take a look at what it looks like after it's been preserved. This is that item now in a preservation binder. And so we're looking at, uh, this is an actual note home, a letter home that he wrote. This is a postcard sent and also a note that he typed later in life about this postcard. This postcard was not visible when we began to conserve the uh, scrapbook. And what we uncovered was one of these great treasures, especially for magic and Houdini collectors. And that's because this is written by a very young Houdini who has left home. And he says, Dear Ma, I've left home. I'm on my way to Galveston. Did you get my uh, card? If you didn't, please write to me in this city in Illinois. And then signed, Your truant son, Eric Weiss. Now, Houdini was very careful that he never signed his real name. Because Houdini was, of course, his stage name. Correct. And that was a name based on a previous famous magician, is that correct? It's a variation of Houdin, uh, who is a magician that preceded Houdini, and um, also that Houdini wants to trump, in a way. So just um, to give a little context, uh, there are people in the world who are incredibly devoted magic collectors. And we're here with Houdini's note home telling mom that he's going to be away for a while to this pursue a career. highly valued in the magic community, this little piece. I'm Mark Demunation, Chief of the Rare Book and Special Collections Division here at the Library of Congress.